Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Money Matters Top Tips for Success, where each and every day I bring on new business owners, entrepreneurs, and executives and have them share their top tips for success with you. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, moneymatterstoptips.com, and click on Come an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Brian Meert on the line, and he's CEO over at Advertise Mint. Brian, welcome to the show. Hey, thank you so much, Adam. It's great to be here. Hey, so um, I'm excited to get into what you're doing uh, over at Advertisement and how you're helping your clients because Facebook ads, ads in general, big deal, um, big thing, a lot of business owners, entrepreneurs listening, and, and they want and need help. Um, but before we get into that, let's get a little bit further into your background. So how did you get started in your career and in business? Man, you know, I – thank you so much for having me here. It's great to be uh, be on your show. Uh, you know, I did my MBA uh, right out of college, and I went and did it, you know, my master's degree, and I thought my life was set. Um, I got <laughs> out, graduated, started to apply for jobs, and I, what I had missing was experience. So I had a degree, but I didn't have a lot of experience, and it put me in this weird kind of place where I was overqualified for some jobs, underqualified uh, for other ones. Um, and what I did was just sit down and start to learn and any chance I could get in digital marketing to help someone with their website, to help them with their Google ads, to help them, you know, with SEO or anything else they were doing. I was like, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. And so it just, it took that approach where I was like, I got my, I rolled up my sleeves, uh, jumped in and was like, I'm going to get as busy as I can and immerse myself, uh, in this. Now, 20 years later, um, it's crazy because I'm still I'm still doing that on a daily basis. You know, stuff in the digital world changes every day. Uh, but you know, we work with a lot of clients at advertisement, helping them run their Facebook ads, which a lot of times anyone else that's out there understands it can get a little tricky at times uh, and a little frustrating when they don't necessarily you know perform the way you want or do what you want. Or you may not be seeing the results that you want. So we help companies walk through that process and uh, and make it a lot easier for them. That's awesome, and uh, and I, I love what you said. How you you said you, you just dug in and you went for it, and you had a you know you had a lot of education under your belt to start over and to start in digital, so to speak. I'm I'm I, I'm guessing you didn't go to school for digital, get your MBA. It's not going to happen. Um, so that yep. being said. Um, there's some, you know, entrepreneurs that are just getting started out there right now or, you know, just maybe they didn't go to college at all and they're thinking about a career in digital. Um, what kind of advice would you give to that newbie that's really just getting started? Man, so there is an opportunity here which is exciting, which is digital changes so quick, which means all my 20 years of experience becomes irrelevant tomorrow the minute a new platform or a new system launches. So for anyone that's new that's listening, you, a lot of times you're not that far from being on the cutting edge. Um, it just takes the commitment. You've got to learn something, uh, whether it's a new platform or something new, um, and master it and become that expert in it uh, as quickly as possible. And a lot of times that's what's tricky is, you know, finding, you know, clients or someone that you can work with to be like, I want to learn something that's new that a lot of people don't know how to do. Um, a great example of that would be TikTok advertising, right? It's very, very new, um, just beginning in terms of the, the capabilities, um, and most of the people haven't touched it or even played with it at all. Um, that's an area that if you wanted to, to get and become an expert in, you could be able to, to kind of jump into that, figure out what the options are, how it works, um, and you would be ahead of probably 97% of advertisers out there. Um, that are doing that. So that's what you want to do is find, there's a saying called red water, blue water, you know, red is where all the sharks go when they're, you know, getting together. You always want to try to find a place where you can, you know, stand out a little bit or that you, something that'll make you different, uh, make you better. Man, that's awesome. That's great advice. And I never, I never thought about that until just now. Every time a new platform launches, there's brand new jobs. Brand new jobs and, yeah. and the old and the old players, um, they don't necessarily want to or have the bandwidth to want to go learn another platform if they're already servicing their clients where they're at. So it's a whole new cottage yeah. industry that you could be the expert in within months. Amazing. Yeah. Yep. Um, 
So, Brian, I want to uh, switch it up a bit. Let's go into uh, what. Uh, let's get a little bit further into what you're doing over at advertisement. So, you you mentioned that you you're helping clients run ads. Um, give us some more. Give us some more meat on that one, please. Yeah. So, I mean, Facebook ads in general are pretty tricky. Uh, you know, at, we started. I, I started advertising. Which is an understatement, um, by the way. Which is an understatement. Yeah. yeah they're yeah, yeah. They're a pain. So, most people who are listening have run Facebook ads at some point have been like, ah, it's frustrating or the costs rise. <laughs> Uh, and what happens is the short version is Facebook advertising is unlike any other form of advertising. So if you approach it like a billboard ad or a Google search ad, you've already lost. Facebook cares about one thing, which is keeping users on Facebook. And so because of that, they've built a platform that rewards advertisers that create content or ads that their users find interesting. If their ads are the same, you run the same image to a person again and again and again, Facebook actually penalizes you. If you leave an ad up for a year, Facebook penalizes you. And so what happens, a lot of people don't understand and they end up overpaying and they get frustrated being the results aren't working. Uh, and that's what our company does is we have a lot of strategies, uh, tips and tools, uh, things that we use to help build ads for companies that are in alignment with Facebook's priorities and ultimately what happens is they end up spending a lot less, they get better results, everyone's happy, you know, we have a big cheer at the end, and then they say, hey, now make us more money. Uh, and then we do it again and again. So that's, that's kind of the process of what's happened with Facebook. Um, you know, it's exciting. Can I, I'll talk a little bit more. It's exciting because I just launched uh, my new 2020 edition of my book. So I wrote a book on Facebook advertising called The Complete Guide to Facebook Advertising. If you go on Amazon and search Facebook ads or Facebook advertising, you'll find it there. It's the number one book. Um, and we just updated it for 2020. And so if anyone's wanting to learn more about Facebook ads or get into some of the nitty gritty, how the algorithm works, how messenger bots work, how Instagram ads, you know, your options for targeting and things like that, there, it's all in there. I put it there so that you guys be able to take it. Uh, and go further with your ads and be able to start making more money. Man, I love this. And what are the um, – so any particular niches in terms of type of clients that you like work with? Because there's people listening right now from all different industries, and I know um, one of the big deal is, is, okay, they've heard about Facebook ads. They, they kind of maybe dipped their toe in the water, gave somebody that wasn't quite the right person a little bit of budget, and was just like, okay, this is not for me. Um, what, what's your, like, niche or sweet spot for type of client you like working with? Yeah, and what's cool about Facebook ads is, to some extent, we, we technically could work with anyone. There's very few companies that we can't work with, and there isn't a way that we can get something out of Facebook for their specific company. Um, I'd say in terms of, like, the most popular uh, genres, you know, e-commerce is very popular. Uh, we do a lot with events or, you know, concerts or venues, things like that. Again, kind of e-commerce. Um, we do a lot with app installs or app engagement, mobile apps that are trying to get more exposure. Uh, so those are some of the ones that are, are really popular um, in terms of, you know, people are wanting to be able to, to get more out of the system. But it really is, no matter what your business is, if you and I were to sit down and have a conversation, I would be like, there is a way, there's an option of you could do this um, to get, you know, value out of Facebook or Instagram, or there's this option for you that you probably didn't know about. Um, so no matter what you are, what industry uh, if you haven't explored Facebook ads yet, you probably need to uh, because it's not going away anytime soon, and it's incredibly powerful. What uh, what size client typically makes sense for ad for advertisement? So, meaning, are you just working with enterprise? Are you just middle market? Are you working with um, just your your small business owners? I mean, what's the kind of the sweet spot there in terms of the type of client you like to take out? Uh, Yep. So we've got all across the board, uh, Fortune 500 companies, uh, small, medium businesses. Um, our entry point for when we work with clients is companies that have about $10,000 a month or more that they're putting into online media. Um, and it isn't because we picked this number randomly or we were greedy and said we only want to work with these type of people. What we found is that clients spending around that amount per month, uh, you know, Facebook wants to make money and they obviously – want to incentivize people to spend more. And so a lot of with their algorithm, it takes volume. It takes movement. And so what we saw was people spending lower than that amount. A lot of times we're getting charged more than clients who are spending the, over that amount um, mm -hmm. with similar ads. 
Uh, so what happened was you know, if you were under that, you were automatically kind of at a disadvantage. Um, and so we kind of set that barrier to say what, as one of the first starting points to help you get those better results is you need to have this much skin in the game. You need to come to the table being ready to pay Facebook, um, but we're able to generate tremendous results with those types of budgets. No, that's awesome, and, and it does, and it does make a lot of sense. And really, Facebook, and when you think about where your clients are at, um, speaking of like user base things like that, what type of clients are typically appropriate? Not a client, but in terms of audiences can be reached. Because I know there's a lot of confusion out there about, you know, you, I'll bring up the platform you said TikTok, so you know, really young yep. people using. So you're maybe not advertising there if you're talking about assisted living, right? Um, so can you give yep. some of that breakdown of what you think the the, the nice spots are for Facebook? Yeah, you know, I think if you were to speak in generalities, you know, Facebook's kind of, you know, it's the big one. You know, a lot of people on Facebook generally, yeah. you know, it's it's stronger with the, the older demographic. So my mom is on there now and, you know, a lot of older people. It's more, it, I'd compare it kind of with email, right? Like email isn't hot and sexy, but everyone uses it every day. Mm -hmm. um, Instagram is definitely where, you know, it's got a lot of growth. Um, it's still growing a lot. Story formats are great. A lot of younger people are there. Um, it has a lot of engagement. It's, it's very vibrant. Uh, good imagery, good creative work very well on Instagram. Uh, you know, TikTok is, you know, generally viewed as, as a younger audience, um, but it's exploding, which means it's, it's not happening anymore. Uh, there, there's a lot of other people jumping on TikTok. It's got that critical mass. They have celebrities on it now. So I would think TikTok will follow a very similar format as Instagram um, in terms of, you know, people jumping on using it. Um, and kind of going from there. But to some extent, you know, Facebook owns Facebook and Instagram uh, and all mm -hmm. the targeting options that you want to be able to run. That, you know, what people don't understand is underneath Facebook, there's a huge complex system that is built to not just show ads to 100 random people, but to show ads to the person who they think will do the action that you want. So if I want someone to listen to my podcast or to buy my book, out of 100 people, Facebook can tell you, here's the first person that has all the indicators that's most likely going to buy, and here's the second person and a third, and they show ads in that order. And that's what a lot of times people don't see on the back end is it's very, very complex, um, and you are able to leverage these tools. Whether you're spending $5 a day or whether you're running a Super Bowl ad, you're using the exact same tool, which is just fascinating because it never existed, you know, 10 years ago. Uh, this wasn't an option before. So it's, it's, everything is, is new, and, you know, any advertiser now has access to the same type of tools uh, that the big guys use, uh, and that's just exciting. That is super exciting. Um, so, Brian, if somebody's listening to this and they want more information on uh, advertisement or to connect with you or your new book, um, what's the best way for them to reach out? I love it. Thank you so much, Adam. Um, yeah, you can find me anywhere on like Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook, uh, TikTok at Brian Meert, M-E-E-R-T. So B-R-I-A-N-M-E-E-R-T um, for our company advertisement, uh, anywhere, Instagram, Facebook, A-D-V-E-R-T-I-S-E-M-I-T. Uh, and then I've got a podcast called Duke of Digital uh, where we talk about all sorts of things, digital marketing, online media, social media. Uh, and you can follow us either at dukeofdigital.com or any of the at signs, uh, you know, Duke of Digital. Um, that's a, a newer one. We're starting it out, but we're getting it up and, and rolling, uh, which is exciting. And I don't know if, Adam, can I take a little minute? Because I, I have a surprise. Oh, yeah, that's right now. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, so I have, and this is only exclusive for Adam's friends and the people who are listening to this podcast. If you made it all the way to the end of this podcast, I have a surprise for you. So I have three books. Uh, new the, the Facebook advertising 2020 edition sitting right here and I'm going to give those three books away free but the only way you can get that is you have to go follow Adam on Instagram uh, at ask Adam Torres T-O-R-R-E-S you have to comment on one of his uh, images or videos or shoot him a DM and tell him I love Facebook ads the first three people that do that Adam's going to ask you for your name and address, uh, and I'm going to ship out some books right to you. So make sure to do that right now if you're listening. Find him on Instagram, uh, and let's, uh, let's follow him and, and start to boost his following. 
Oh, man, that's awesome, and thank you, Brian. I, I'm sitting here listening, like, what's the surprise? What's going to happen? This is awesome. I'm like, oh, this is cool. And that's I've done a 1,000 podcast episodes. That's the first time that happened, everyone. So I think Brian knows what he's doing with advertising and digital media. I'm just putting it out there. Come on, guys. Uh, well, hey, well, hey, Brian, um, really, it, it truly has been a pleasure um, having you on the show and uh, catching up and Looking forward to hearing more out of you in the future. And uh, to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes, or do all those great things we do to support our podcasters. I really do appreciate it. And uh, Brian, thanks again for coming on the show.